Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Database Snack Time Snippet. My name is Alex Killian, and I'm the video producer here on Exitius Marketing Team. And today I'm joined by Barry Shaw, the Informix and Postgres Lead DBA and Delivery Manager here at Extivia. Uh, Barry, do you want to introduce yourself to us? Hi, I'm Barry Shaw. I've been here at Extivia for almost 22 years. I've been working with Virtual DBA almost since its inception. I've enjoyed working here. I enjoy the variety of clients that we work with and the um, just many opportunities I've had over the years to learn more about Informix and dig deeper and learn new um, enhancements and benefits and new technology as Informix has evolved over the years. I've been working with Informix for over 30 years. So um, thank you so much, Barry. I'm excited to have you on the snippet today. Um, first question for you uh, around Informix. Um, under what circumstances would you recommend upgrading? Informix comes out with new releases every few years, and currently um, there are only two versions of Informix that are under support, version 12.10 and the newer one, version 14.10. If, if you are on an older version of Informix, whether it be 7, 9, 10, 11, uh, we definitely recommend that you upgrade because first of all, if you're on an unsupported version of Informix and you need help from IBM, it's going to be difficult for you to get support. If you are under support, if you run into an issue, you can open a ticket with IBM for them to help you out, to help resolve it. If you have a bug, they can find it and provide you with a bug fix. Also, if you're under support, you can install any new bug fixes that come through or any security patches. And so we just highly recommend that you come up to speed and that you are on, a, on one of the supported versions. Um, there is no, end of support date yet for 12.10, so that should be around for a while longer. And 14 has been out for a couple of years now. Awesome. So um, on 12.10 and 14, what are uh, some of the enhancements in those newer versions of Informix? The latest versions of Informix have offered um, a lot of auto tuning features. So you no longer have to Think about so much some of the things like your LRU queues, your cleaners, um, those kinds of things can be auto-tuned. There's an auto-tune configuration parameter that you can turn on, kind of set it and forget it, and Formix will tweak settings as needed. Um, one of the other benefits if you're on a version before 11 is that um, in the older versions of Informix, a big consideration was the fact that when a when buffers are flushed during checkpoint time, checkpoints would block transactions. Any updates or inserts would be blocked while the checkpoint is running. Blocking checkpoints went away in version 11. So that's a, a new feature that they put in. Um, another, a big one for our clients is that in the newer versions of Informix, um, you can put your DB spaces on cooked files and get the same kind of performance that you get on raw devices. Back in the older versions of Informix, we recommended raw devices for your database files, your database spaces. And raw devices are just much more difficult to maintain. You need to go to, usually to a sysadmin to get one created. But with using cooked files, you just get a file system. You can create files on the fly, add them to DB spaces as chunks, and it's so much easier to maintain than in the older versions. Um, one of the big benefits is just performance. If you're on an old version of Informix, the performance has increased so much with the latest versions. Indexes go faster, just overall performance is faster that just by upgrading, you, you might, you'll see a huge increase in performance. I recently upgraded a client who was on version 10, they upgraded to 12 and they used to contact me frequently about performance issues and things that were timing out. And that's virtually been eliminated since they upgraded to 12. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So um, what are some of your favorite features of Informix in general? Some of the benefits of the new versions of Informix that I like. Um, one, there's a defragment utility. And um, if you've been working with Informix for a while, you may know that one of the issues that could cause performance problems is that if you created a table with a small extent size, as the table grows, 
it can get interleaved with other tables, that it can get interleaved with its indexes, and you'll have a table that now has maybe 100 extents, and that can cause performance problems because when you do selects against it or search against it, the engine has to go through those extents to, to find the data. Well, there's with the defragment utility, you can run that while the table is online, while you're working, and like a Windows defragment works on a disk, it will go through and it will consolidate all of those extents into as few as it can, whether it be one extent or two extents. And you can run that again while the server's online and um, consolidate that data. It used to be that in order to alter a table, consolidate it into a single extent or consolidate it, you had to lock the table, take some downtime and a you know, find a maintenance window in order to alleviate that performance issue. And that can be done on the fly now. So that's, that's cool. I like that one. I actually have scripts that I've written for clients that we have installed that go through once a week, figure out if there are any tables that need defragmenting and it just does it on the fly. They're set up in cron. I don't even have to think about it. Just every week it takes care of any extended, any tables that are fragmented. Another one that's a good one in the newer versions is that you can have you can set your chunks to auto expand, auto extend. And so if you have a system where you're often running out of space, you're always having to go in and add another chunk to a DB space, it'll automatically do that for you. You can set a threshold, you can set up a storage pool that it's going to use to extend that data. And when the table or when the space hits a certain threshold, it'll add however much you tell it to add. And that's a good way of being able to manage your space without having to keep on top of it all the time. I mean, you still need to watch it to some degree, but not to the degree that you did before. Another feature that several of our clients are using is encryption at rest. You can now set up your database or specific DB spaces to be encrypted. You set it up with a cipher and there's a key file that's stored and any data that goes into those DB spaces, or again, it could be set up for the whole instance, that data is encrypted. So you don't have to worry about people being able to access that raw data in DB spaces. And then um, finally, another one that is useful, a new feature that's useful is the Informix HQ utility that has come back out with 14. It was introduced a couple of um, versions ago, but it's back in 14. And that's a utility that you can use to look at your to, to administer and monitor your instance, see graphs, watch the performance, and that kind of thing. And that comes available with version 14. Awesome. So many features. Sounds great. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, answering some questions about Informix. Um, everyone, please come back for our next database snack time snippet and have a good rest of your day. Thank you.